We are in Vancouver. Let's eat some Filipino food. Hello. Hi there. How are you doing? Do you have a full lunch right now? Do you have butter chicken? Do you have like kar kar? Do you have that dish? Oh, yeah. Oh, you have these dishes? Okay. What do you have? You got kar kar, and this is uh, this chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Do you have any more chicken. Filipino dishes? This one. La, what do you call that? Langonitsa. Okay, and we'll, perfect. All right. Well, I will try the kar kar. That sounds really good. For here? Yes, please. And what do you eat it with? You put a little fish sauce on it? Uh, shrimp paste. Yeah, shrimp paste. I'll have some of that. Ba baguon or something? Baguon, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know so. Look at this. We got the baguon. Looking kind of fancy to buy. The bag of will be in the shrimp paste, and then we got the car car with all the veggies on there and the rice. We're back, we're back eating Filipino. Okay, deep mystical flavor that is car car. Let's try it straight up with just the actually, let's put a little shrimp paste. This is good life, yum! It's been a while. Mm. Have you, mommy? Funkiness from shrimp paste. That peanut butter, yummy sauce. This is the good life. I actually love the uh, the vegetables on top. You can kind of dunk it in. This is the eggplant. I can't remember the tagalog name for that, but delicious. And this paste is like fermented. And I remember. The first time I ate kar kar, someone in the comments was like, what are you doing? You have to eat that with the baguam, the shrimp paste. So now I do, and it makes all the difference. So you can still find good, authentic Filipino food almost everywhere in every city. Filipino people are in more cities than you think. What is this? This looks like a glistening piece of pork belly. Just reminded me of a dish I love that tokat baboy with the pork belly and tofu. Yeah. Oh yeah, the fat, the peanut butter. So comforting on a cold night. Look at this place, just a little simple cafe downtown Vancouver. The guy who runs it kind of serves butter chicken but also Filipino favorites. Always has to play to the work crowd but also the local Filipinos that work in the area. Hmm. God, good white rice. I picked this up, I decided to chase a little calamansi. Total of that. It's kind of like a spice, a, a citrus from the Philippines, you'd say. You put it in to Put it on top of palabot. It's good. Kalamazi, yum. And I also pick up ding dong. So we're gonna do something never done before potentially. It's probably just looking to innovate. Put we'll ding dong on the car car. Add a little crunch. Mm hmm. On to something with the shrimp paste. Blasphemy or a great idea. I like it. Mystery crunchy bits. Okay, questions of the comments. Do I go, do I put the sauce inside, the rice inside the sauce like this and mix it around? Thank you. Where do I just put the sauce on the rice? I need it like that. What's the playbook? You tell me. Always trying to learn the mysterious methods of eating Filipino food. Thank you, it's delicious. I love that. Thank you. Very, very good. <laughs> yes? Thank you. Alright, that was a home run. And I have my ding dongs. So that's it. Filipino food in Vancouver. 
tucked in some random little mini mall. Until next time. I will say the key to the ding dong is you probably got to have it with some beers. Look at this mix. It's kind of a mix of like peanuts, crispy peas, random corn things, but it's good. Will Kara Kara topped with ding dongs become a culinary fad in the Philippines? If it does, you know where it started.